in this section we are going to create a node application and we are going to do all the basic configuration and further we will install all the required dependency and eventually we are going to create our first unit test case and execute it so now let's see here i have created a brand new application as a mocha chai unit testing now let's go to our terminal so in order to open the terminal we have a command as a control j or control back tick you can use any one of them so first of all we have to check if we have installed node.js in our system or not so we have a command as a node hyphen v that is going to give the current installed version of node in my system so if you see currently i am using 18.16.1 version that is the latest version as of now now further we have to configure our application so we have a command as a npm in it this is going to create our package.json file with our initial configuration so I, i'll go with all the default value here author i'll give as a kumar now if you see here my package.json file is created with the default configuration now here if you see main file is given as a index.js so we are going to make it as a ts because we are going to create this application in typescript now here we will create an index.ts file now further we are going to install all the required dependency so we have command as npm install so we need typescript and then we need mocha and we need chai and if we are using the typescript so we have to install its type as well so we will add types for mocha and types for chai since we are making this application in typescript so we need ts node as well ts node is basically a engine that execute your typescript code inside node without pre-compiling from typescript to javascript and all these things required in our development purpose only so we will install as a dev dependency so here save dev now install it now if you see here my package.json file has been updated with all the required dev dependency okay so we here we have chai mocha ts node typescript and types for chai and mocha now let's configure our typescript as well so here we have command as a tsc hyphen hyphen in it that is going to create a ts config file with all the default configuration so if you see here created a new ts config file with all these configuration now i'll go to the ts config file so i'm going to use only default configuration so i'll remove all the commented section over here so yeah these all all of the things are not required now here we have all the basic configuration for our typescript now further we are going to create our source folder as well as test folder so here i'll create a folder as a source src as well as i'm going to create a folder as a test where i'll write all the test scripts okay now i'm going to create a very simple class over here in my source folder so here in my source folder i'll create a file as a calculator .ts and inside this file i'm going to make a class as a class calculator right and in this calculator class we are going to have four methods add subtract divide and multiply okay so now add method i'm going to pass two parameter in this add method as a, a as a number and then b as a number and i'm going to return a number okay and return a plus b very simple isn't it similarly i'll write other method for the subtract multiply and divide okay so here subtract where i'm going to a minus b and similarly i'll do for the multiply a and i'm going to multiply a into b and here i'll write multiply and we will do for the divide as well where i'm going to divide a divided by b okay and here we will give as a condition if b equal to equal to zero then we are going to throw an error okay new error as cannot divide by zero okay cannot divide by zero that's all so our class is ready so in this class we have four functions add subtract multiply and divide okay now further we need to write our test cases for our this calculator class so we'll go in our test folder and here we will create a file as a calculator dot spec dot ts okay here whenever we are creating our test file we should always ensure that we are having the same folder structure as we have in source folder this is not mandatory but that would be the best practice to have the same folder structure in our both of the directory now come to the spec file so now let's understand that what exactly we are writing to our test script so if you see if i'll just make a 
diagram over here this is my application in this application we can have multiple test suite now i'm going to create a test suite so this is my test suite 1 this is test suite 2 and this is test suite 3 so this test suite can be created by method of a describe okay now in this test suite we can write multiple test cases now i'm going to write our test case here one test case two test case three test case okay similarly here also we can write multiple test cases and in this test suite also we can write multiple test cases so and these test cases are written by method it okay so we have our application inside our application we can write our multiple test suites and each and every test suites are having their own test cases okay now you understood about the structure how we can write the test cases now let's write our first test case here as I said, we can create our test suite by using method as a describe. So here describe and the syntax to write the describe. First of all, we have to give the name as a parameter. So here we are going to test calculator class and the second parameter that we have to give as a fat arrow function. That's it. Okay. So now I have created a test suite as a describe test calculator class now inside this test suite we can create multiple test cases. Okay. So here I am going to write my first test case by using method as a it. And here also we can give description for this particular test case so this should return sum okay and similarly here also we have to pass the fat arrow function and once we are writing our test cases we have to keep in mind three things 3a pattern okay the first a is arrange second one is act and third one is assertion okay so now in arrange what we will do we will we are required to create an instance of our calculator class okay so what we will do we will import our calculator class so import calculator from source and then calculator okay we are getting here since we have not exported it so here we will give default calculator okay now in our spec file if you see now there is no error here we will create an instance of our calculator class so const calc equal to new calculator so now here we have created instance of our calculator class now we need to do the action so here inside our act section we are going to execute our add method so here const result equal to calc dot add and we are going to pass here two comma three okay so we know that once we are passing our two variable two and three it's going to return five okay sum of all these two parameters okay now we are going to write the expectation so here in our assert section as i told earlier in chai we have a multiple assertion method that we will discuss later on in our videos but now here i am going to use expect so here i am expecting now see this is automatically imported from chai and what i am going to expect expect is result to be equal to 5 okay result to equal 5 that's all so our first test case is completed now similarly we have to write the test case for our other three methods for our subtraction multiply and division okay but before that let's run it and see if this is working or not now let's go to our package.json file so here if you see inside our script tag we have test so now we are going to update this so in order to run our test cases we have to write our mocha mocha is responsible to run our test cases and then we have to require register our node require and then we need to register our ts node because we are we have written in typescript ts node register and we are going to execute all our spec file inside our test folder okay so here we will give test and then star star dot spec dot ts so this is going to execute all the spec file from our test folder okay now here we will write our npm run test npm run test now this command is executing so if you see here my test case is passed okay should return sum and that is being passed so now let's go back and here if suppose that i have written over here as a six okay and now let's run it once again now this is going to be fail okay why because the addis once we are adding that these two values it's coming as a five but what we have given it should be six okay we are expecting this result to be six now see it's being failed expected value that I have, we have given six but actual value is five so this is actual value and this is expected value okay so that's the reason it got failed 
now further we will write the other test cases similarly but before that how you can see your code coverage that you can identify how much code that we have covered so far for our testing so in order to do that we have a reporting tool as a nyc in Istanbul. so i'm going to install that npm install nyc okay as of now i'm just showing you how we can see our code coverage later on in our upcoming videos we will see nyc reporting in detail here i just want to show you how we can see our code coverage so now our nyc is being installed go to our package.json here we will write before mocha as a ny nyc okay and now if we run our npm run test so now if you see my there is a folder generated as a nyc output and here you can see how much code is being covered okay so so far statement that we have covered 28.57 function 25 percent and lines 28.57 percent okay and he, here we can see what are the what all the lines are not being covered okay these are uncovered lines so we have to write the test cases for them as well okay so now let's correct this so this should be equal to 5 that is the expected now we need to write for the subtraction so here we are going to pass for 5 and 3 and expected should be 2 and here we are going to subtract okay now this should return subtract now we will write for the multiply as well multiply and here multiply multiply and once we are going to multiply 5 and 3 it's going to be 15 and now we will write for the divide as well okay so here should return divide divide and once we are going to divide 9 by 3 the answer would be 3 okay so now if you see we have covered test cases for our add subtract multiply and divide okay but this test case is still pending okay we have not covered so far now let's run it once again and see if all the test cases are being passed and code and if our code coverage is being increased or not yep so now if you see here all of my four test cases are being passed from test calculator class suit and if you see my code coverage is also being improved but if you see here line number 13 and if you see this is the line number 13 which is not being covered it okay so we have to cover that line as well so now go to the spec file once again now here we will write one more test case should throw an error while dividing by zero okay we are what we have to expect here here i am going to write expect in a different way so expect and inside this expect i am going to call a fat arrow function as a calc dot divide and inside this i'm going to pass parameter as a 10 divided by 0 so 10 comma 0 and this to throw and what it should throwing it should throw an error okay the same error which we are passing over here okay cannot divide by 0 we are not required all those things here no we need to arrange this because here we need to instantiate our calculator class okay now let's see we have covered our divide by 0 case as well now it should be 100% code coverage yeah so now you can see all of my test cases are being passed and we have done the code coverage for 100% for our statement branch function and line for all the four sections okay and there is no uncovered line so in this section you have seen installation for all the required dependency and then after that we have configured our application and finally we have created our first test shoot and inside this test shoot we have written our test cases for our calculator class i hope that you guys understood about basic configuration and writing the test cases now in our next section we are going to see what all the chai assertions styles are there and how we can write them okay